stage. But baptism is, is, is a celebration of someone placing their faith in, in Jesus. Think of it like the, the public wedding ceremony where except that they've already made the decision to follow Christ in their hearts. This isn't the moment when they're becoming Christians. They've already, they've already done that. But this is a chance for us to celebrate together as they declare that decision to the, to the rest of us. And in just a moment, we're going to celebrate with them as they go down into the water, symbolizing their death to their old way of life, who they used to be, and, and are brought back up out of the water as born again, new in Christ, forgiven of their of their sins. And I just encourage you as you celebrate with these three to remember your own decision that you made. Remember that time when you put your faith in, in, in Jesus and may that bring joy to, to you. And, and also, if you haven't taken that step yet, to, to ask that question, is, is this something that I'm ready for? Have I placed my faith in Jesus? You don't have to have your, your faith all figured out. You don't have to know everything there is to know about Jesus to get baptized, or else, well, I wouldn't be baptized yet. But it's, it's a step that you take after you place your faith in Jesus. It's an initial step that you take in your, in your faith, in uh, something that we get to, to celebrate all together this morning. So I'm going to turn it over to, to Pastor Zach, and uh, he's going to introduce our baptizing and give them a chance to uh, share a little bit. Yeah, so some of our uh, some of our people today are going to share a little bit of their own stories or little statements of faith, and some might not today. Um, but I have met with each one of uh, these three uh, students next to me. We've talked through um, the gospel. We've talked through their faith. We've had conversations about what baptism is, and I just want to reiterate what Clay said earlier. Um, if you've given your life to Jesus Christ and you haven't been baptized yet, I want to encourage you to talk to a pastor maybe here at the church about it um, and consider what is baptism and what exactly does it mean even though we would follow if we were the only ones it's so much better to do it together as a community and it's such a benefit to each other and you guys are part of that for these students this morning so um, i'll just introduce uh, each one and give them a chance to share if they want uh, this is isaac isaac did you want to share something this morning Someone came to my school and we became really good friends. 
and she told me about Hope Church and Camp Shana, and I thought it would be fun to go to summer camp, so I signed up with her. But a year or two later, my family started going to church, and they started praying again and giving me faith again. And seriously, the coming of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to keep me on my feet. That summer, I realized how important the, he was to me. So I decided to ask Jesus in my heart. I think that being baptized is something that I would want to do and need to do, because I feel as though I need to feel fresh and restored from my sin. I've been struggling to find the correct words and keeping myself from saying something that hurts so long and unintentionally. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 